I really meant to do the review of the Microburst a long time ago, and the only reason I haven't is because there's a little bit of a goat hoof going on with my print. I made a gap right there, and I'd have to fix that, and I got lazy and complacent, and one of the whole reasons why I got this whole setup is because I'm going to shove it into the thing that I'm going to review today, which I thought would take a lot longer to come out. And that doesn't even count the three things I've gotten in the last two days that are 3D printed and awesome that I have to do videos on. And that doesn't count the other two blasters that I bought last week and all of the other blasters that came out in August that I never did videos on. Oh my God, you need to subscribe. I have so much stuff to do and that's one of the best ways to motivate me to do it. But this is one of my most hyped blasters for 2020. I shall reiterate, I am not a fan of Fortnite. I am a fan, however, of interesting and goofy blasters. And I think today's product really does fill a niche that we've wanted for quite some time. Now, obviously, I built something similar to this in the form of the Judgment Day, but that thing, it needed a lot of tweaking and I never put the time or effort into it. And honestly, what I have here might work just as good or have even more mod potential. That's what I'm excited for because... We're taking a look at a thing I can't even fit in frame. The flippin' Fortnite GL. Purchased at Target for $59.95. That's over $60 counting tax. Let's see if I got my money's worth and if you should pick one up as well. Oh, just kidding. Common Rider Saber sucks hard. I hate everything about it. Oh, hey. That's a that's a box full of missiles. What else you got in here? Oh my god, this thing. Oh, that's a that's a box of things to hold missiles. Is this the rest of it? It is in fact the rest of it. You know, normally I wouldn't bother with like unboxing stuff anymore, but this is somewhat interesting. And that is exactly how this thing works. Do we get air out of that? Oh, we do get air out of that, so. It's a hamp. It's a hamp with an indexing mechanism. No trigger. Stock uh, is, it, it doesn't really do anything. That's okay though, it looks cool. Instructions sheet of how everything goes together. I mean, they're not gonna come out easy, but I feel like they can come out if you really wanted them to. There we go. That is one Toon World. M32 Grenade Launcher. It's huge. I mean... First of all, if you have your hand kind of choked up on this, if you have bigger hands than me, you're going to slam the hell out of your thumb into that. And the forward rotation is, you can tell, like, ugh. Uh, there's, there's definitely, there's a gigantic hole right here. Why? Can't carry it like this, which is gonna be good. And it comes with demolisher rockets. And this is interesting. I know because I was told this might be a problem with what happened with the Judgment Day that the normal elite style rockets that you get have canted fins to impart a spin. These do not. Will that improve or degrade accuracy? You simply stuff it onto the peg and repeat five more times. All right. Wow, that is, uh, that is really cool looking. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give it with my right hand here into the dark catcher and see what we can get done. And contact! It's, uh, it works. That, that one came out like sideways, I think. That was fine. Also fine. I swear that one hit backwards. That one was fine. Do I have another? Nope, I am out. Well, that doesn't mean a whole lot, although you could definitely hit a target that's a good like seven feet away. Reliably, actually. Let's take it outside and see if this thing has any war use whatsoever. Is this the blaster that finally makes people just 
use demolisher rockets like none other, and more importantly, mod potential. All right, we have a fully loaded GL with the rockets that it came with. I'm curious to see what kind of range we can get out of this. I'm hoping it's at least to elite range without an angle, and maybe the rockets can sail past rival range with an angle. I have not seen this thing fired yet, and I'm a little worried. Let's find out with our first level shot, basically slamming it as far as I can. Oh boy. So that was around and strike ranges. With an angle, it hits almost rival range, but that was not accurate. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the heck happened there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, taking two of the original shots out for some orange original demolisher rockets. Let's see if those ones happen to go straight. That was one of them and it happened to go straight. That was pretty bad. That was okay. That was pretty bad. About the same. Huh. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the barrel is a bit too long. If I look in there, you probably can't see it, but there's definitely moisture where the rocket was hitting the side of the barrel. Here is a cylinder dump. I'm gonna try to slam this as fast as possible. Oop. Oh, God. Okay, now that's a, uh, I think some getting used to, but it does work. Funny enough, I completely forgot to put these things on. Though to be fair, it's probably cooler if you didn't and chalk that up for another thing that's going to get lost at Goodwill. All right, well, uh, it's not very good, at least in my professional opinion. But that being said, do you want something that's like this? Well, this is one of the only ways you're probably going to get it. Uh, the Fortnite GL is an expensive beast, and I feel like something could have been done to make this a little bit better. Because not only does it not fire very well, the operation isn't exactly that great. The priming bar I've seen, especially on the return, is really sticky. And not only that, it can sometimes get bent when you're slamming it back or pushing it back forward, which causes it to not want to rotate at all, which is super annoying. And the air power isn't really that good at all. Even before I snapped all the things on there, slamming it down, I barely felt much air power coming out of it at all, which probably has something to do with a really short stroke and more likely a really small diameter on the actual high air pressure manual pump itself because it has to make room for that indexing mechanism, which I feel like the proper way to have done this, Hasbro, is to have made like the trigger or something do the actual rotation and just make this a perfect hamp. Cause this, uh, is, it kind of works, I guess. I mean, it's safe to say that if you were expecting this thing to be the end all for demolisher rockets, not really. It, it's not very accurate. You can kind of slam them off, but even doing like a slam fire, trying to rattle them off as fast as possible, barely worked, but it looks cool. And there isn't a whole lot going on back here. And thanks to this photo by Buff Daddy Nerf, we can see that there really isn't a whole lot going on behind the cylinder, which is great because that means you can pretty much redo this entire back end and get something a lot more fun. Pumps, compressors, air tanks, CO2, HPA, yeah, you can see where we're going with this one. Well, I'm not sure if that will increase the accuracy at all. Definitely having more power coming out of this barrel, making sure that rocket leaves the barrel as quickly as possible could help with accuracy a little bit because then it shouldn't hit the side of the barrel coming out or have less time to do so. 
It'd also be nice to actually have a stock, because this thing, which is just bolted on there by the looks of it, yeah, as far as I can tell, it's a different piece of plastic, is, it's, it's, it's useless even for me. I mean, you can technically use it, but it would be nicer if it was, like, I don't know, two inches longer, maybe? That's what she's always saying, though. But it looks cool. It functions exactly how you would expect, and it's extremely fun. I mean, the grip is pretty comfortable. There's even a tactical rail on the top of it, which I'm not sure what the point is. I mean, for 60 bucks, it, yeah, it's a bit much, but it also is a huge amount of plastic, and I just kind of wish it worked better. I feel like even the other Fortnite, like the RL and the, the Thunder Blaster, better than this thing when it comes to being reliably good. Besides the more obvious mods, the one I want to see, and the one I'm curious if it could happen, is that this thing needs to be a shotgun. I want to see shells that I can pop in here that hold like 12 darts or something ridiculous like that that I could just go blam and shoot a whole bunch of darts out. If it stays like a hamper or something like that, that should be doable to get a just nice shotgun of darts out of that thing. So that may be the optimal mod in the future, but otherwise, if you were excited for the look, you wanted like a war machine from Call of Duty or something like that, or the GL from Fortnite, this is definitely worth picking up. $60 can be excused because of how much you're getting here. But if you thought this was going to rewrite the rules on HVZ, it technically could work, but you're going to be carrying this and probably dumping the entire thing every single time you see a special Z because this thing is not all that reliable, and I think that's what kind of kills it. And long term, who knows if this whole indexing mechanism is going to hold up. If it ever does break, I will update you down in the description below. And while you're down there, you can pick up one of these totally sweet Nexus Pro Anime shirts. Link down in the description, card top right corner, merch shelf below the video, and probably in the pinned comment as well. So it's like a, it's like a C grade. It looks cool. It does in fact function. Definitely needs improvement though. But let me know what you think about the GL and if you plan on picking one up. Again, I picked this one up at Target for the princely sum of 60 United States ducats. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please get subscribed because I have a ton of cool stuff to show off in the very near future. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta...